Hey there, Janae with Mailing Projects here, and in this video, I am uh, going to show you, I think, one of my pride and joys uh, from this season of planting. I found this plant um, while I was shopping with my sister-in-law. Um, I honestly wasn't going to buy anything that day. Uh, one, we were um, in another state. They live in another state. Um, and I don't typically shop at garden centers that are um, outside of my region just because you could pick up a plant that isn't necessarily rated for your zone. So we were mainly looking for plants for her, her garden and her house, um, specifically salvia. Um, salvia is a pretty hardy plant and she has honeybees. So um, I know honeybees love salvia. So it was one of those things where we were just searching for some perennial salvia and I found this glorious plant. Um, now, to kind of put this into perspective, I've been wanting one of these for probably three years. Um, I have looked online and I was gonna order one from their online shop and I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I found this at this garden center and it was, I, there, there were a couple different varieties there. Um, and I think this one is just, it's, it's gonna be just absolutely perfect. Um, but without, any further ado, um, look what I have, guys. I am so excited. Um, I have wanted a David Austin rose for, like I said, years now, ever since I found out about them. Um, I've, I've really, um, I've really wanted to get one and I just haven't pulled the trigger on buying one, mainly because of buying online. Um, nothing wrong with that. I just, I'm a little w wary about buying stuff online. I like to see it in person. I like to be able to pick out the one that I want. And um, I, I finally got to see them in person. Um, I've never seen one, I've never seen one, I don't think in my area um, at any, I haven't like really searched for them though. Um, I'm, I'm thinking there's one nursery up um, north of us that probably carries them. I just haven't searched them out because, I don't know, I felt like when the time was right it would just come into my life. Um, and this one did. So let me um, get the tag off here. I don't have my, oh, my skizzers with me or my pruners. Also I would take my pruners to it. Um, cause I, I want to show you guys just this glorious, glorious rose. Uh, David Austin roses are English roses. Um, and they were bred by David Austin. Um, hence the name, David Austin Rose. Uh, they, it's just a brand of roses. Um, he's done all of the genetics, um, or the company has done all of their genetics and they breed roses. So, ooh, let me put that aside. Um, this is a Mary Rose. It's an English shrub rose, uh, medium shrub, four foot by four foot, so four, four foot tall, four foot wide, um, mid pink for coloring. It's a repeat June through September flowering shrub. Bloom size is a medium. Uh, fragrance is medium strong. It's an old rose type fragrance. Sun to partial shade, all soil types it loves, zone four to 11. The mid pink flowers are of an attractive loose petaled formation and have an old rose scent with a delicious hints of honey and almond blossom. It forms a well-shaped bushy shrub. Um, ideal for mixed border or rose borders. So I, um, I'm actually going to be, ooh, ooh, hold on, I dropped it making this my centerpiece for my half moon garden, um, just because I've waited so long for a David Austin. Um, if, you know, it doesn't work out in this area, if it's too much sun, I'll move it. Um, it you can move shrubs, uh, roses fairly easily. So I'll move it to probably like the back row or someplace like that. But I am just over the moon for this rose. I'm so excited. I just, I think it'll be the perfect addition to our garden. Um, and it's gonna be so beautiful, I can't wait for it to bloom. Uh, this plant does look very happy and healthy. Um, I have no, I don't have anything bad to say about it, um, honestly. It's 
it sat out in actually by our fence um, for a couple of weeks now and it has just grown and grown and grown and grown and grown so I think it'll love getting in the ground and I'm gonna love watching it grow. I will, um, again, I'll have to mulch it in the winter time and protect it, but honestly, it's worth it. I'm, I'm just over the moon excited that I have a David Austin rose in my garden. Um, so let's go plant it and I'll show you where it's, it's gonna be located. Okay guys, um, got it planted, put Biotone starter fertilizer in the hole. I'll go back out and water it here um, after I'm done talking with you guys, but I honestly, I think that is the perfect rose for that area. Um, it'll just be beautiful and just fill in that area perfectly. So I am very excited uh, for my very first David Austin rose. Um, hopefully I'll get many, many more in my garden, but for now, I'm happy with my first. Um, I'm so excited for it, honestly. It's gonna be beautiful. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, we'll see you in the next project. Thanks guys, bye.